So I almost died. But I got the spider. And I stretched his legs out. So you can see how massive this thing is. From here to about here, I'll clean up the top, weld a section on. From here, all the way over, I'll remove. I have done a little bit of work off camera. Um, started making uh, this piece here. All right, so before I do anything, I'm gonna get the uh, carust on there. Yeah, that stuff's turning blue really quick. I think, from what I remember, it turns black when it's completely done. Oh, that throws a kink into things. Huh. Well, yet again, it's not going according to plan. So, let me get something to point with. I don't know how well you can see because it's on the wide angle, but all that's rust down in there. See how easy that bends? It's not as thick as I thought. Um, this side is. The back side is not, I guess. Water and grime from the road splashing up. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do now. Um, these pipes being here really suck. Kind of stops me from doing what I need. Um, so what I might do is try to go right to the edge of the pipe. I'll have to ditch that yeah, I'll have to ditch that top hat. Um, I can still use it. I need to replace uh, this side over here, so it won't be wasted. I can use it, so. Uh, I've got another side that I can cut, so I'll go to right before, although even still, going over here. I have no idea how I'm gonna repair this so there's just rust down in there and that is just so incredibly easy to bend away it's just it's not any good um shoot 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 i believe i mean other than that top section there i believe um Starting about right here, it is okay. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do for this pipe. I could cut it there and just butt it up, but there's no way that I could weld there and on the bottom. Um, so, my thinking, so I don't have to mess with these pipes, I will take my cutoff wheel, cut the top hat right there, cut the top hat right there, drop my chalk. I've got an idea. I don't know if it's going to be the best way to go about it, but I think it's going to be, it'll be a little more work, but I think it will be the easier, or rather, it'll be a little more welding, but I think it'll be the easier way to, to do this. So about here and here, I will cut this top hat. Um, only this sidewall. Um, I'll slice it here. I'll probably cut the top off of it to about right there. Then with this sidewall free, I'll fold it down. I'll be able to get in here on this back wall, remove all of that bad make a new panel out of the top hat here, slip it in, I'll be able to weld it, fold this back up, weld it back up. And then all I'll need to do is make a 
top section. Uh, so from about here to about here, um, maybe actually on the new top hat, I can just leave that section of metal there. Um, I'll cut. Yeah. So I think that'll be the best way to go about it. I'll be able to repair this rusty crap here. Um, I won't have to worry about there being rust uh, left behind after doing a repair because if I left that there, it would just rust out, rust out even worse and, and we're back in the same boat. So. Might be the harder way. It'll definitely be more welding, but I won't have to mess with any of these pipes. So I am going to do that. Um, you have 12% battery. Once I'm going to take all this bad out now, um, I probably won't record it. And then once I'm to the point to where I cut this and this, I'll fold it down and I'll record all of that so you can kind of see my crazy way of going about this. So uh, let's get to work. I could just weld in a new piece here if this is too rotted out. But it seems like decent metal. Hey, look at there. So, <clears throat> there's a uh, another lip there. So, did they? I don't know what that would be for. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I think this is going to work. Um, it's not going to be straight and pretty when I bend it back up, but this gives me a lot of access. And maybe this metal down here is, is thick enough, so maybe I just I need to take off the top. Um, so yeah, I think this will work out for me. Um, I'm sure some of you... Uh, that have done this repair before are watching this uh, thinking what the hell are you doing I don't know I'm just I've kind of gone into this with that mindset I have no idea what I'm doing um, I probably should have researched this but it is too late now so uh, I'm gonna get this out here uh, you're at nine percent I will let you record for as long as you stay awake so um, let's get that out of there. Hey, you can't hear me. Um, so that was another extra panel there. So it looks like possibly it's sleeved into each other. Very strange. Now I just need to be able to bend that back up. Uh, let's see how much more I can get out of this disc. Alright, so, I've wasted the whole day pretty much. Um, I've got a little bit of work done. The biggest issue was I had to put the water trap and oiler. I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, I had to go to the store like 500 times just to get the correct fittings and all of that junk. Uh, and then I sold my car to Carvana so uh, it's been an eventful day but finally back set up and good to go so my thinking is I've been taking the 
little flapper disc thing here and just slowly grinding the last bit of this top hat off here. So actually it bends up now. So what I can do is after I get that removed, I may even remove this piece here. I was going to try to leave it, but I think it'll be better to take that off as well. Um, it's not going to be the correct way when I put the top hat back on. There won't be a, a hole there. Um, I don't think it's a big issue because there's a big gaping cutout and a hole there. So no big deal there. Um, I'll clean that up. But what I am planning is for this piece here. So it is the length that I need. I need to trim a little bit off, um, mainly just grind it back a little bit to where it fits perfect. I will set it in place. If I can. Um, it's approximately like that. Um, it'll have the back wall on there. That'll go down and it'll take care of uh, that section there. Um, once it's in, I'll fold that flap back up, weld it, and it should be good to go. Uh, then having that in there, I will have the top hat in the correct location. Then I can put the jack outrigger in. Uh, that will be in the correct location. Then I can come in and do this bulge panel piece that comes down right here. Um, it may have been the extremely long way to go about it, but I wanted to make sure that the jack location and the top hat would be in the correct spot. Um, I probably should have just replaced this whole top hat, but I believe it would have been an incredibly huge pain to do that. Um, I think doing it the way that I am, uh, I can pretty much remedy it enough. So. Uh, I'll put you on and let you uh, watch me grind yet again. Um, but we're getting there.
All right, so I got that out of the way. I just need to go to the other side and uh, flatten it back out. Um, I still need to remove a little bit of that top hat uh, here, but the pipe is free now. Um, it's not free from the back, uh, but it does move around a little bit. So I think I'll just do like this section here, just make a little slot for it to go in. But uh, yeah, it's going uh, pretty good. So I need to measure how much this is here. That way I can account for cutting that off on the uh, top hat. And then I need to measure from here to the pipe to figure out where I need to put the little uh, hole for it to go. Um, then once I get that section out, I can possibly put this into place. Um, I may flip this back up and weld it before I put the top hat on. That way the top hat is out of the way. Actually, no, because I need to be able to weld that. So, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I could weld that from the other side. I don't know. Uh, when it comes to it, I'll see how difficult it's going to be. But, um, yeah, so at this point, I just need to take that little bit off. And then uh, I think I may be able to get to putting the top hat on. I'm not going to record this bit. Uh, I've done enough cutting and grinding in this video. That's mainly, actually every video pretty much. Um, so I'm just going to knock that out, get it prepped and ready for the top hat. Uh, get the top hat prepped and then I will put it in and weld and start recording as I'm welding. So, so I got this cut the way that I needed. I uh, started putting some crust there. One-handed, it's not going to be perfect, but you get the idea. Goes in there. A little bit of a gap on the back. Like I said, i got to bend that one piece back up. Um, and I'm also not holding it flat, but you get the idea. Um, so I'll put the crust on there uh, once I do that. I will probably... Uh, clean all the paint off of this and then tack it in place uh, down here and then get it in place over here and then I will uh, then I will bend this piece back up weld that along that edge that edge and weld all that back together um, I finally got my little uh, hole punch uh, the pneumatic hole punch working so I'll be able to punch all the holes along here that I need um, but yeah it uh, actually went a lot better than I thought after getting uh, my air situation fixed back up so uh, I'm gonna paint this clean it up and hopefully weld I've got about an hour before I have to go pick up my son so if I get my stuff together, maybe I can uh, put a couple welds down. Well, I got the crappy paint off, and I put some good paint on. It's been sitting for about 30, 40 minutes now, and it's still so wet, it's like I just sprayed it. So, ah, that's kind of holding me up. Um, I don't know why that's not drying. So, until it dries, I can't do anything. I uh, welded a couple of those um, pinholes, uh, mainly the ones that I wouldn't be able to reach after the top hat's already in. So for now, kind of dead in the water because uh, the paint won't dry. Well, I've got the AC running. Hopefully it'll help uh, dry that paint up. Uh, I'm going to kill some time clean this up a little bit and see if I can uh, possibly weld up this Swiss cheese just to see how it'll do. Um, more than likely it's just going to blow through, but if I don't have to replace all of it and I can save some of it, then 
that's cool with me. Um, actually, I can tell already it's just going to blow through. That is extremely thin. Uh, but we'll see. Give it a shot. Yeah, closed it up, but if I have to do that all the way across there, that's going to be a ton of welding. Now well, let me get the grinder, see if that does anything. Yeah, I mean, it definitely... Yeah, that's gonna be a... Something to think about, for sure. Um, I just wanted to test it out, see if it would work. If I do it that way, there's gonna be a lot of welding, especially over here. I mean, that is just Swiss cheese. I don't think they make this piece. I think I have to get it from a donor bus. And I don't have a donor bus. I'm pretty sure my wife would kill me if I bought a donor bus. So, um, Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure that out at a later time. I mean, that's five minutes of work. I mean, that didn't, didn't turn out too bad, but I mean, see, it is just so incredibly flimsy. I don't know if it's like that just because of the thickness of metal or if it's just been weakened from all the rusting away. So, eh, let's check the paint. I can tell you now it is still soaking wet. Yep. That sucks. Well, Looks like I will be calling it a night. Uh, not much of a video. By the time I cut out all of the uh, just extra that doesn't need to be in there, uh, I don't know how much of a video I will have. Um, I'm not going to release it until I actually start doing some work. Um, but by the time you see this, you already know, and I am extremely dirty. Um, but yeah, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'm not going to rush just because I want to do work. So I'll let the paint dry. Uh, I wish I had have painted it before dinner tonight. It definitely would have been dry, I, I think. I don't know. Um, it is rather humid, so it's probably why. Uh, good old Virginia. So, yep. I guess I will be back out tomorrow night. Hey guys, um, back again for the third attempt at doing this um, top hat repair. I did get a new toy. It's 
It's a uh, Makita finger sander. It's uh, pretty freaking nice, if I do say so myself. Uh, it will come in handy, especially on spots like this, where I need to get the rest of that bit of floor away. So I uh, can't wait to use that. Um, I'm going to have to cut these videos short. I have 21 minutes left of recording time, so I'm going to try to knock out these welds really quick. I'm going to get this in place, tack it in. Um, I did a bunch of holes. I don't know if I needed all of them. Um, probably not, uh, especially right there on the wires, but yeah, it is what it is. So. Yeah, let me get to uh, welding this in. All right, so I'm going to bring you all back on. <clears throat> as long as you uh, promise not to look at my welds. Never said I was a welder. Actually, I didn't say I was any of this. Um, yeah, the welds are horrible. I'm blowing through a lot. Uh, I tried to clean it up as best as I could. I could probably... Um, this section here, I ended up hitting it in too far, so I've got to come from the bottom and push it back out before I can weld that. Um, this, actually I need to pop the top up a little bit because I uh, ended up hitting it with the hammer and it crushed in. So I need to come from the bottom, just push that up a little bit so I can push this in just a hair and push um, the piece right here with the tube in it out a little bit. Uh, don't look at that. That does not exist. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess... I don't know. I, I hope this is going to work. Turns out this top hat is a little, little more wide than that. Um, this also does not fit right up against the uh, body there. Uh, if you take a screwdriver, it kind of st sticks back there. So I've got it about the same gap there. I don't know if that's the correct way to do it. I know I need a little bit of a gap right here because this panel goes down behind it. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, it's not going great. The paint that I put on there, you remember when I said, hey, I'm taking the bad paint off and putting good paint on? Yeah, well, the good paint was also shit, so. Uh, it has paint. I will probably scuff it up and paint it again. It's not been a very good time trying to repair this. Uh, it's been very difficult. There's been lots of roadblocks. I'm fairly certain that this is where it needs to be. I think it needs to push over just a hair, but when I weld the uh, outrigger on, that will take care of that. So, yeah, see, it's got a little bit of flex. This metal is shit. It's complete garbage. It's extremely thin. I hate it. I should have shelled out the extra cash and shipped the damn thing from the UK. Um, yeah, I'm not happy with this repair at all. Uh, if I don't have to, I will not buy Clocker Home anymore. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, it's not great. So, I'm going to, to attempt this, see how I like it. If I don't like it, I'm going to say screw it, rip the whole damn thing out, and just order one from the UK. Um, so, depending on how that is, this video may come out. It might not come out. Who knows? Um, I'm just, I'm not happy with the way that this repair is going. It was probably a hack job way of going about it to begin with. Um, just sucks that that doesn't fit. Honestly, I don't even know. Yeah, so this top hat is the exact same thickness as the rears. So not only is this top hat shorter this way, uh, it's more thin. 
Hey guys, so this video I've been working on, I've decided to scrap the entire thing. Um, this whole repair that I've been working on, I am also scrapping. I will, from now on, try not to buy any clock at home. It is complete and utter garbage. Um, let me show you why. Um, it was going okay. The first half of the video, I spent the entire time working on making this piece. Uh, it was a complete uh, top hat for the rear, which is fine for the rear. Uh, one, this metal is way too thin. It's horrible. Uh, two, the rear top hats are more narrow this way. They are also, or rather, the front top hat is more narrow this way. Uh, they're, they're thicker for the rear. Uh, I did not know that. I knew the front was shorter uh, lengthways because of the B pillar uh, curving in. So I figured I could take this piece, cut it to the way that I needed it, and make it work. It's not gonna work, it's horrible. Uh, it turned out extremely bad. So, instead of half-assing this, I'm going to scrap the whole thing, rip this entire top hat out of the front, and order the correct one from Alan Schofield, or Schofield, I'm not sure how to say the name. Uh, it's in the UK, it's going to cost me an arm and a leg for shipping, but I want to make sure that I do this right. Um, like I said, I will try not to buy clock or home anymore. It's not worth it. For little small repairs, just to have a bit of metal, maybe it's okay. I've got all that crap there. Hopefully I can work with it. I know I've read that the clock or home pieces, if you take them apart, they fit a little bit better. Um, but for the most part, I will try to use them as little as possible. Um, this was four days work. That was a complete and utter waste of time. So, uh, lesson learned, no longer buy clocker home. From now on, it will be just campers or the funky green metal of um, Classic Fab or anything other than clocker home. Uh, anybody else thinking of using clocker home? If you have experience welding, doing metal work, uh, great. You can probably make it fit uh, well enough. For someone who does not have experience doing any of this, stay away. It's not worth the money. It's not worth the time. Uh, spend a little bit more. Get the Just Campers pieces. Uh, that Jack Outrigger there is spot on. I mean, it's the exact same thing that is on the other side from the factory. Um, the Clocker Home pieces of those, they come in two pieces and they're garbage. So, uh, for anybody thinking of it, if you have experience, go for it. If not, stay away. So, it sucks for me because I've spent four days for something that I'm going to rip out anyway. Um, which also means I have nothing that I can do on the bus at the moment. Every other repair that I have, I need more parts. The front piece there, I need to order, so I can't do that yet which means that I can't do the nose. Also, the front inner balance, I have clocker home. I'm getting rid of it. So I'm gonna see if I can return it. I'm sure I'll have to pay a little bit of shipping, but it's better than having crap. So I'm going to go on to Wolfsburg West, order the three piece inner balance uh, I'm going to order the, I'm not sure what that's called, maybe a window cowl, uh, I'm not sure, uh, but I'm going to order that, and I am going to, I think for Alan Schofield, I have to contact them to arrange shipping, uh, at least that's what it looked like the last time that I was on the website, so I will go on there and see how much shipping is going to be for this top hat. Hopefully it's not going to break the bank. 
Um, I mean, it can't be but so much, uh, but it is an oversized part coming from the UK to America, so I'm not expecting cheap shipping. Uh, it would be nice if I could find that anywhere here in the US. Um, maybe before I order it, I will put this video out if any of you, if any of you know where I can get the front top hat for a 71 bay window. I don't know if they are different for the different years. I'm guessing for um, the later models, they might be different, I'm not sure. But if you know where I can get one that is not clocker home and that is decent metal uh, in the US, please let me know. It would be much appreciated. Uh, hopefully just to save on shipping. Um, but yeah, this whole idea is being scrapped. Um, waste of time. Luckily, I should be able to salvage this. Uh, cut it here, clean that up a little bit, and I can use it on the pieces over here. Actually, most of these are okay. They just need a piece on the top. So that's the idea on that. I do have a whole nother one of those um, that I can use for parts. So, yep, um, not much of a video, mainly because the whole thing's scrapped. I might, um, I don't know, by the time this comes out, it's going to be Monday. So, I don't know what this week's video will be. Um, it's now week two without uploading a video just because this didn't go to plan. Uh, first I was waiting on shipping, uh, parts finally came in, and then it was like everything uh, was fighting against me. Um, I put paint on the, actually I stripped the paint that was on it because it's not very good, and I put new paint on, and the new paint turned out to be bad as well. Um, it would not harden up, it was sticky, when I touched it, it left stuff all over it, so it was just bad to begin with, so. Uh, lesson learned. Uh, I think it's a little too humid out here now. I'll maybe have to run the AC for a while before I do any more painting. Uh, but yeah, so. This week, I will possibly do something on the 75, I don't know. I was going to do a will it run while waiting for parts to come in, and then um, I ended up not doing that because the parts came in. But uh, maybe that will be this week's video. Um, so yeah, I will see y'all on the next one. Sorry for not having any content out at the moment. It just didn't go as planned, so um, it happens. You just have to keep going. I'm trying not to get discouraged about this. I know that I don't have any experience welding, so I know every once in a while I'm going to run into snags. Um, but doing it this way, it will be the better way. Um, I had said early on in this build that I was just going to slap it together just so I could have it roadworthy and drive it and enjoy it. But now that I'm in it, I don't want to just throw it together um, incorrectly because I don't want to have to do the work again later on. So, uh, kind of same idea with the rear quarter panel. I did it, I did it really bad, half-assed, and, uh, I should have learned from that one. Uh, also, those clocker home panels, so that seems to be most of my issues, uh, other than not having experience. So, um, yep, thanks for hanging out with me. I will have some content out soon. I've got what I need now for the sandblaster, so might be a good time to uh, pull the bus out. I think this weekend it's supposed to rain, go figure. Every weekend it rains, so I can never do anything outside. Um, but yeah, maybe I will... Yeah, the next video will either be the 75, um, trying to do a will it run video 
or it will be sandblasting the chassis. Uh, just I want to test out that sandblaster that I have. Um, I know they're not great, but I think there are some mods that you can do to make them a little bit better. I said all this in the last video, so I'm going to stop rambling, um, and we'll see what the next video is. So thank you for hanging out with me. I will get some content out soon. And uh, actually, I think about a week ago, I got an update on my back ordered parts for the bug. So if they come in within the week, then I will do some work on that. Um, my welding isn't great. I know enough about it now to where I feel comfortable working on the bug. Uh, so if those parts come in, then I'll work on the bug. So hopefully between the three ideas, there will be something. Um, either sandblasting or working on the 75 just to see if it will run or possibly working on the bug. So um, hopefully we'll see you normal time next week. Uh, today is Friday, so hopefully in a week's time I will have some kind of video update. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. I will see you in the next one.